hope it is. I count on this will be an unforgettable night. I can stop thinking about what Pierre and Charlotte have to tell us, can you? Absolutely. I think they might be planning to move here. After the war, France has become an awful place to live in. Uh, living with the fear that any of your fellas can be a communist must take your ship away. I guess so. You know, I'm not very keen on all these politics stories. But wait, if they are moving, why is Pierre's sister coming? I mean, it's not that important. Wait, what was her name again? Beatrice. Oh, it's true. Well, uh, I think the only way to clear this whole thing out is to wait until they tell us. Oh, John, it must be them! Please wait, I'm coming! Don't worry, Grace. I'll get it, okay? Good night, Charlotte. Good night, John. Please, uh, come in. Grace is waiting for you in the dining room. Thank you. It will be a pleasure to spend the night with you and your wife. Pleasure's mine. Ah, good night, old spot. Hey, John. It's fantastic to see you again after yes. all those years. It's been a long time. Years, yes. yeah. yeah, since our last visit. Is everything all right? Everything's going flawlessly, but please, come in, because um, we can catch up while you're arrived. Oh, oh, Hi, Grace. So, my dear sweethearts, how is your life going? It's been a lot since your little couple came to visit us. How much? Two, three years? Well, uh, I think the last time all of us met was in 38, just before the war. Uh, do you remember that time when we visited San Francisco and we had a lovely day in the park? Oh, yeah. What a nice day, right? Yeah. I remember it as if it was yesterday. We met at the Ritz. Mm -hmm. Oliver was already there. He was wearing a white hat and a brown suit that made him shine. He was so handsome back then. I can't take the image out of my mind. And then Pierre and I arrived. Mm -hmm. And we talked to him about uh, our concerns of a possible war. I, I don't want to talk about that. It's okay, Charlotte. We know you and Pierre have gone through some devastating moments. It's totally normal not wanting to remember them. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. I really appreciate your understanding. I'm... Well, where was I? Then, uh, after a little chat, you and John arrived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true! I was wearing an astonishing red dress. Do you remember it, John? Oh, yes, yes, I remember. How could I forget it? But wasn't Jack already there? No, he was late. He's always been late. Right? Oh, what a coincidence. That must be him. Hi, John. My old friend. How are you? Please, please come in. May I help you with your hat? Sure, thanks. Ah, oh, by the way, did you find it difficult to recognize which was our place? Of course not, if we take a huge measure of yours, it's practically impossible to go wrong. Yeah. Sure. Oh, no, it's after dessert. It's going to be a surprise if we do not know. Hi! Hey, Jack. How's everything going? I'm doing quite good, thanks. My lovely Jack, I have missed you a lot. I pray to God every single night that someday you would come back from that terrible war. Oh, Charlotte. That astonishing that red dress, perfectly with your eyes. I had a woman like you when I was in the war. I have seen the conflict with very different eyes. I want you, Pierre. I will keep an eye on her as she gets away. Okay, okay, well, I think that's enough. But thanks for the compliment. Charlotte, it, it was not my intention to make you angry, I'm sorry. Ah, it's okay, Jack. I should have told you more softly. Whoa, Charlotte, you look astonishing. That red dress matches perfectly with your eyes. Oh, I can't stand him. I wish he had to leave the house. The next time he says something stupid, I will kick him from my house. Keep calm, Grace. Don't let him ruin your party. We all know he sometimes says stupid things, but you know he's not a bad person. Who's that? 
Get out of my property or I will call the police. Stay away from me, I will not repeat it! Don't worry, Grace. It's me, Oliver. Oliver, you scared me a lot. I felt my heart was going to burst. I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. But what I didn't mean was main comment on Jack. Don't be mad at him. He's nice. Yeah, I know. Maybe I was a little bit stressed because of the dinner or something. Well, uh, do you want to come in? Well, not yet. There's something I want to talk about. Okay. What is it? Um, two weeks ago, um, maybe it was on Sunday, I was reading a book in the kitchen, uh, just after our walk, um, when suddenly someone knocked on the door. I didn't know who it was, but I opened the door anyways. When I opened it, I found a little boy, maybe he was uh, 11 or 12. And when I asked his name, he introduced himself as Michael. What did he say? What's going on, Grace? Why do you look so concerned? N nothing, I just found it curious. <laughs> do I look stupid to you? No, why would you say that? He told me everything. Please, Oliver, don't say anything. If John finds out, he will kill me. Please don't say anything. I will not tell John. Thanks, God. Thanks, thanks. Because you will do it. I will not tell John because you will do it instead. No, Oliver, you can do that to me. If you don't do it today, there will be consequences. What do you mean? Please don't do anything stupid. Oh, Oliver, I didn't know you had arrived. But what are you guys doing? You're not cheating on me, Grace, are you? No, of course not. We were just catching up while I was finishing my cigarette. Please, Oliver, John, let's come in. Oh, that must be Beatrice. No, I don't know her. Good night, everyone. Hello. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm your sister. Uh, I'm Beatrice. Uh, I have a little house in Alabama. I don't like. I don't live in France like him. Um, oh, Beatrice, it's so nice to meet you. Thanks, Grace. Um, let's pray to God this dinner will be enjoyable. My dear sister, how are you? Is everything alright in Alabama? Well... Um, I wish I could say everything is alright, but it isn't. Uh, what's bothering you? Well, last week I was coming from church when I saw that a new family had moved next door. At first I thought it would be nice to have a new family in our neighborhood. But then when I got to introduce myself, I... I I discovered that it, it was a Negro family. Oh dear Lord, H how could you allow that? But what is the problem? I mean, it's just a couple. What's the problem? What's the problem? Living with those people is the problem. You can never trust people like them. I'm sure they are communists too. And for people like them, the world was closed. They should be returned to their country. Communists? Really? What does a black family have to do with communism? The both are dangerous for our country. If you love the US, you would be against them too. I do love my country, that's why I don't hate them. Well, dear friends, I think we should start the dinner. Because, for as long as I'm concerned, we're here because Pierre and Charlotte have to tell us something. So, let's just stop talking about politics. What they look like, mm -hmm. probably is something difficult, but I think that's the same thing that they always yeah. Oh, please, John, start that demonic music off. But, Beatrice, what's the problem with this music? I mean, it's juvenile, it has rhythm. How can you say that? Last Sunday, Philip Morrison gave a fantastic sermon on that music. That is one of the main causes of juvenile delinquence of today. And he justified his thoughts, saying that when you listen to or sing that awful music, 
you feel you experience an evil feeling. <laughs> <laughs> that is stupid. I some kind that make you feel demonic things. Maybe you should go to the church and have more fun. What did you say? Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> no, I don't think you're stupid. I think you're very old-fashioned. You mistreat black people, you, th you are uh, excessively patriotic, and you think that some new music is turning our, our children into juvenile delinquents. You're totally right, Oliver. Letrice, you must move on, the world is changing. Enough! We are here because Charlotte and I, well, we wanted to tell you something, and we can't because you're arguing. So please, let's be adults. Okay. You are right, dear. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. What's the uh, important news you both have to give us? Well, Pierre and I have thought to, it would be a good idea to tell you after the dessert, but we brought something very special. <laughs> what I brought from France, it's an album! <gasps> October 1938. I remember that day. It was a day we went to a party in San Francisco. In fact, this was the party we were talking about before you arrived. This was the last picture we took all of us together. Why the last one? Mm, after this party, John and Jack went to war and Pierre returned to France. Yeah, that's true, but we have to look to the bright side of things. I mean, we all survived, we are here today. Totally agree with you. Pierre, isn't that you? Yeah, that's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look how young I was. <laughs> <laughs> when this picture was taken, it was two months after I, I arrived in the U.S. What a nice time, right? And why did you move here? Well, I came here to study cinema. You know, because I didn't like how cinema was being made during the 40s. Mm -hmm. Or the cinema de la qualité, you know? And I was a big fan of directors like Hawks, uh, Fuller, and... That's why I decided to start my career here, even though, well, it didn't take off. So, yeah. Ooh, and those! Jack and Charlotte. What's this, Charlotte? <laughs> Don't worry, honey, it was not anything important. Before I met you, Jack and I dated a couple of months, but we were young, we didn't know what we were doing. Why did you never tell me? Pierre, please don't get angry. I never tell you because it happened a long time ago, and I didn't think it was that important. But yeah, now you know. And you, Jack? Is there anything you'd like to say? Well, I agree with Charlotte. We decided not to tell you anything because she has said it was not a long lasting thing. Okay. If you say so, I believe you. Mm, uh, I don't know who that is. What's that? Oh, it is a pregnant woman. Wait, isn't that great? N no, it's impossible. It's not me. I have never been pregnant. Grace? No, I swear to God, it's not me. Uh -oh. She's right. It says Mary Claire 1948. <laughs> but, but that's our sister. Uh, yeah, maybe I mixed the family photos with the album. <laughs> My head must be in the clouds. Not the same, but... Hey! Let's toast! Yeah, but wait, wait a second. Does anybody know where my glasses? Yeah, mine too. 
Uh, ah, yes, yes. There, there. I'll get some with mine. I will get them. Oh, thanks. Well. Consequences. Wait, 
Why am I tied up? What are you doing? Please, let me go! I'm innocent! I didn't kill anyone! I didn't kill me! I made the other jump! Please, let me go! You're a psychopath! Grimms, why would you say that? Please, listen, you know I wouldn't kill a fly. Well, that's not what you told me before dinner. Do you, do you really think I would kill them? Of course I was angry, but not that much! Have a grace. Later, Jack, not now. When we kill that bastard, I will tell you everything. But, but I didn't do anything. I was upstairs with someone else. Who? Who was there with you? You better tell us who you were with. I was with... We are not alone. How can it be? We're all down here. Communist. You too, Jack? You must have lost your mind. There are no communists here. They two told us the same exact thing before and now she's dead. Communists are here. They want to kill us. <laughs> Why didn't tell us before, Grace? You will have signed up at Rich and Oliver. Why, Grace? Because I didn't trust any of you. You could have only the murderers. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. We must get that gun. It's our only way out. If we don't get that gun, they they will kill us. But why is very dangerous? But we must do it. We will only be able to escape if we kill those bastards. Pierre, come with me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. You and Grace stay together. Find somewhere to hide, okay? But please, Pierre, come back. And soon we saw them. There are five of them. Uh, they have shoot beer, but they managed to grab the gun and I escaped it. Is he dead? It? Uh, it's just on the floor, lying on the ground. I didn't. You know. I'm gonna go take him. Are you crazy, Sherlock? <laughs> let, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Don't follow her. Stay with me. It is very dangerous. Stay here. She will die. You are safe now. Safe? No, you're crazy. I'm not the only one who's crazy here. The others were. But you and I, we are the only same. Someday, you will thank me. Thank? Thank what? You killed Pierre Grace? John! It was meant to be that way! What, Jack? What have we done to you? January 7, 1939. The day I was sent to war. Do you remember? Of course you don't! Because you were not there! 
last day I was with you and you were not there to support me. Why? Because you were with Pierre. You have always preferred him. Have you? Have not? You have always preferred the bloody French film director than me. Poor stupid banker. But I preferred you among the others. I love you. And when I told you, you broke me down into pieces. Your only concern was Pierre! Oh, you don't know how much I have enjoyed it when I saw his lifeless body lying on the ground! You made me do that. It is your fault. You made me do that! The day I received the letter what you told me what you, what you told me you wanted to talk out about something with all of us I just spent the whole night crying but not because I was sad because the power license to not be able to do anything. I had realized it. I didn't have any chance. That when I planned my revenge. That exact night. No, then stop! I don't want to hear you anymore! You had time to regret yourself! And not now! It is useless! And I don't know if I had told you already. You look astonishing tonight. That. Red dress match perfectly with your eyes. Yippee, there'll be no wedding bells for today. Got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle, as I go riding merrily along. Jingle, jangle, and they sing, Oh, ain't you glad you're single? Jingle, jangle, and that song.